While the NHL takes a break, we are here to give you a block of entertainment with Minecraft Hockey, live from the PPG Blocks Arena, where we're set to see the Pittsburgh Penguins take on the Boston Bruins. I'm producer guy Phil, it is going to be a memorable night because, well, to be honest, I never thought that at 26 years old I'd be calling a hockey game in Minecraft, but being a broken adult aside, we have some tremendous hockey action coming your way. Before we start the excitement, let's throw it upstairs to public address announcer, Not Sinner. Good evening to all NHL fans across the globe, and welcome to PPG Blocks Arena on Pucking Sweet, the sweetest Minecraft server for hockey fans. This is the new home of the first ever NHL hockey game played in Minecraft, brought to you by x -Deck Hockey. As we are happy that NHL fans across the globe are joining us, we must remember that yesterday the hockey family was deeply saddened by the loss of a young man in Colby Cave. Not only was he a wonderful hockey player with a bright future, but a great husband, son, brother, friend, and a role model. Indeed, undrafted but undaunted, Colby was earnest, hardworking, and relentless in the pursuit of his hockey dreams. Colby Cave spent three years with the Providence Bruins and was recalled to the Boston Bruins in 2017. He made his NHL debut with Boston in that December of 2017 and scored his first NHL goal against the Montreal Canadiens. In 2019, he became a member of the Edmonton Oilers, where he played 44 games. We will never forget Colby's last NHL goal that helped the Oilers capture a big victory here in Pittsburgh this season. We send our heartfelt condolences to his family and friends. As a hockey community, we are stunned and mourn this tragic loss. Please put your attention to the scoreboard for a video honoring Colby Cave. After the video is done, we ask that you join us in a moment of silence. Thank you. And please remain standing as we join in the singing of O Canada and the Star Spangled Banner. Your starting goaltender is brought to you by Uncle Jerry's Jelly. If you don't want smelly jelly, then it's not scary if you buy from Jerry. For the Penguins, it's the Clapperton. He's relied upon by his team, and he'll have his work cut out for him tonight. For the Bruins, it's Kane tier in what is sure to be a formidable goalie matchup. We are underway with the first Minecraft hockey game, and if you're wondering why the Bruins only have three players, well, thanks to social distancing, the rest of the team is self-quarantined at home. As for the Penguins, well... Win three cups in ten years, then you can have five players. Tremendous action to start the game, but there's an explosion! Someone must have had Taco Bell before the game started. Both teams converge at the hash marks and the puck is cleared down the ice. BR Shoot picks it up in the corner, looks for his teammate X-Tech, but it's picked off by Jay Price, who launches a shot just wide. The Penguins give chase and it's cleared off the boards by Sitter. It's stopped the red line by Daddy Urban and he's gonna fire a shot! He's thrown the needle! He scores! This was all set up by Jay Price who fired the puck around the net. The Penguins had a chance to clear it and did, but Daddy Urban read the play and fired an absolute bullet and you can see the Penguins all attacking and not one man back. This was a costly error and it's given the Bruins a 1-0 lead. There's lovable Gong Show Gary, the mascot for the Penguins who appears to be eating a poison spider eye. I'm sure it's not the worst thing he's eaten as at one point he was dating Carol Baskin, so I'll let your minds take it from there. We have X-Tech and J-Price battling for possession in the corner. The puck is loose after the Clapperton. Oh, illustrious save from Kane Tier to keep his team ahead. His first big test of the game and he passes with flying colors. JT Media takes a shot and it's blocked by J-Price. Kane Tier leaves to play the puck. He's got Cinder and J-Price hot in his heels. X-Tech picks up a loose puck and shoots off the side of the goal. Puck exits the Bruins zone and hold on, we may have something here. Cinder and JT Media taking exception to Kane Tier not liking their TikTok posted earlier. Daddy Urban knocks the puck off the boards and fools the Clapperton and X-Tech as it comes back to him, lobs a long shot, and it's just wide of the Penguins' goal. 
Bruins still hanging on with a one goal lead late into the first and oh my, hang on to your seats. We have a heavyweight bout. Jay Price and JT Mania each serving up a big old play to these hands. Haymakers from both players and the official is going to step in, but even his well-defined mustache can't stop this. Second period action with the Penguins still looking to get on the board and Daddy Urban ricochets a shot off the boards and is saved by the Penguins. Puck now in the Bruins zone and the Penguins are buzzing. Big save by Kane Tier, but the puck still stays in the zone. This is a much better Penguins team than we saw in the first. The puck comes to JT Mania who rifles it up the crossbar. Chased down by X-Tech who fires another shot off the post. X-Tech gets it back and he scores! You can only flirt with fire for so long before it burns you. The Penguins had chance after chance but kept hitting iron. They didn't give up and just kept shooting. X-Tech is the one who blasts this puck through. He chased the puck down, hit the post the first time, but made absolutely no mistake the second time to tie the game at one. Both teams are playing with an all-out attack with their feet firmly on the gas. Daddy Urban launches this puck back into the Pittsburgh zone. He gives chase but is pressured by BR shoot. Daddy Urban bounces a pass to the top of the slot, they shoot, and that's a big block by the Penguins. They're looking to clear, and Daddy Urban first is a turnover, and they have to regroup. X-Tech over to center, and his pass is picked off by Jay Price, who attempts to clear the puck, but it's picked off by X-Tech, who lost it into skates, and the Bruins clear it out. Penguins under pressure, play it to the corner, where everyone continues to battle. Puck squeaks out to the slot, Jay Price all alone, just misses the net. Third period, the score still tied at once. The Clapperton with a booming shot towards the goal and it hits off his own man. There's a scramble, the crease, and Clapperton gets it and fires, saved, rebound, scores! Clapperton is the one who starts this playoff. He fires it towards the goal, gets himself into open space to have not one, but two cracks at it. The first one is saved, but kudos to the Clapperton for sticking with it and burying the second attempt for a huge goal and the lead for his team. Penguins have broken the stalemate and time is on their side as the third is winding down. Another shot blocked by the Bruins and another block. They are under siege here. Less than three minutes to go into the third. Boston trying to up the physicality late into the game to maybe bully their way into a goal as the Penguins shoot it to the half boards. Daddy Urban's going to fire this puck all the way into the Pittsburgh zone. It's going to be scooped up by JT Mania who's looking to clear and does to the neutral zone. Daddy Urban plays this puck up back into his zone. Kane Tier comes out to clear the puck, but it takes an unfortunate bounce off his own man, Jay Price. Here comes Sitter, blocked by Daddy Urban, who steers it towards the blue line and gets it out. The Penguins retrieve the puck, looking to get that insurance marker here late into the third period. Daddy Urban, he's everywhere tonight, causing trouble for the Penguins. Fires the Hail Mary towards the goal and scores! Scores! Calm, cool, and collected. Daddy Urban makes a big block in his own end moments ago, clears it, forces a turnover late into the game, and rifles it into the net. Heroes are made from big moments, and the poise from Daddy Urban to not panic, but make smart, calculated plays benefited his team mightily as he ties up the game just before the end of the period, and that's going to set the stage for a wild finish to this hockey game. Regulation solved nothing, so to overtime we go. Three on three action. One of the most exciting features of hockey. The Penguins putting the pressure on early, but Kane Tier is keeping his Bruins in the game. Daddy Urban and Sinner fight for the puck. Sinner gets in and shoots, but Kane Tier is there with another save. JT Mania looking to get past Daddy Urban and does. Gets inside the zone, shoots. Great save, Kane Tier. Sinner with a breakaway, throws it off the boards. Looking to get his rebound. Oh, it just goes by him. Kane Tier pressures Sinner. Sinner gets around and this could be it. Shoots. Off the post with the shot and bounces to the corner. Time is winding down in this three on three overtime. Who will be the hero to secure the win for their team in this tight contest? The Penguins looking to get the puck out. BR shoot bounces it off the boards. Picked up by Daddy Urban who fires and he scores! Hat trick for Daddy Urban, the man who was everywhere tonight, makes a smart decision to pressure, picks up the puck off a turnover, and he had three in his eyes, and he made that vision a reality. Great moments are born from great opportunity, and that is what Daddy Urban has done here tonight to give his team the win and some momentum heading into the season. Wow! What a finish! Here are your three stars of the game. Third star, X-Tech with a goal and a great offensive performance. Second star, Kane Tier with some huge saves. And first star, Daddy Urban with the hat trick. That's going to do it for Minecraft Hockey. I'm producer guy Phil. I will see you in the next one. Stay classy.